Hello Nuggets. Okay, two week update. Um, so today is two weeks uh, since I had the operation, so the procedure, the circumcision. I want to give you an update on uh, how it's going. So it's okay, another thing happened. Um, so when I first got it, I think I mentioned before I was peeing furiously, like really, really strong. I've definitely mentioned that before. Very, very strong stream. And then a couple of days ago, um, my pee, my pee came out and stream when I was urinating. The stream was normal. And then one at a right angle. And I'm not exaggerating. It was literally a right angle. And I was stressing about it because, I mean, the obvious solution is to sit down to pee, right? Um, but that's a little difficult because, you know, it can, it can hit the seat and with your penis and it's very sensitive. And like standing up is much easier, right? And, and also it's just that's management. But with the pee coming out at right angles, there's not much you can do because otherwise I'm just peeing all over the bathroom, which I've done a couple of times. So every time I finish, I have to clean up the bathroom. It's just disgusting, right? Um, but I just thought, you know, that's always happened all my life. It's to some extent, it happens to every guy. Sometimes you spray, you can't help it, right? Um, but this was a little different. Like it happened at the beginning of the day and I was like, ah, whatever, it's just a thing. And then it was exactly the same all day. So I thought, okay, what's going on? So I had a check, and again, content warning, I'm not gonna show anything, but what I'm talking about. Um, there was like a thin layer of something over the urethra, the opening, where you pee from. I couldn't figure out what it was. It, it almost looked like um, Elmer's glue, <laughs> right? But not a dried Elmer's glue. It's like very, very translucent. Like if you put it on your hands, and then let it dry and pull it off. I used to love doing that for some reason. It's a great, it's a really cool feeling. But that transparency, that was over the gland of the penis and over the hole. So it could have just been skin growing over there, like a very thin layer of skin or something else. Um, but whatever it was, it was covering the opening as well. So I had, my pee is so forceful, it punched a hole through that but there was a little hole off to the side. So it was literally just like a nozzle. It was peeing in two separate directions. So I had to kind of manipulate the head a little bit and create, basically pull it apart, which was very uncomfortable. It didn't hurt. There was no pain there on the actual skin or whatever it was. I'm going to call it skin because I think it was. Um, but I had to basically manipulate the head and split the skin. Sorry if that's making you cringe. But so... That then opened up the hole and then the pee was normal. I have no idea if that's what's supposed to happen. Again, I'm only putting it here and only saying it so that if that happens to you, you can say, okay, this either is or isn't normal. Unfortunately, I don't have an answer for you. I've uh, emailed my doctor to find out, to see what it is. Um, I've read online about a couple of things that this can happen, the skin growing, if it is skin. Skin growing back can happen a lot when they're, uh, a child is circumcised, but less so an adult. But again, it's the web. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, honestly, just pulling it apart a little bit helped. And now I'm keeping an eye on it. Um, I think I have like three stitches left. Three or four stitches left. Here's the thing. Three of the, one of them is on the frenulum and it's deep in there. Like there's skin growing over the top. So I don't know what happens there, but that's pretty deep. The other one on the either side of the urethra where the, the skin was pulled back. And those are pretty deep too. And then I have one random one still on the uh, the miniature foreskin that I have left, the little turtleneck. Um, overall, it's feeling really good. It's feeling a lot better. I had a bath, which I highly recommend. I had a warm bath and I did it to take my bandage off after my recent experience of taking the bandage off dry and pulling out stitches and bleeding. I was like, okay, that's all healed up. I need to take this bandage off that I've been wearing overnight. Um, I did it in the bath. The bath felt amazing. The bandage came off easily. So I highly recommend doing that. It feels so good. And it's so much easier to clean as well. I don't know. It just You can be gentle and yet thorough. And so there we go. Bath highly recommended. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the insomnia I've been getting has been really bizarre lately. It's, it's like I've fallen into this new pattern, but it makes no sense to me. It's like a bicircadian rhythm. So... And this has been happening for about 10 days now. So it doesn't feel like a one-off coincidence. I sleep. If I'm having a night where I sleep, I get 
five hours, right? So I'm asleep by one, I'm up by six, maybe six hours. Sometimes, you know, I'm asleep by two and I'm up by seven, you know, or, or eight. So five or six hours I get. The next night, no sleep. Now, not, oh, tossing and turning, 20 minutes here, no sleep, none whatsoever. Often accompanied by an erection, which is what I think is to do with the um, circumcision. But because once I get an erection, I can't believe I'm saying all this. Once I get an erection, you have to get up and go do something else. I can't just lie there. It doesn't go anywhere. I have to completely distract my mind from it by go playing a game or writing or doing whatever. So the, the, the insomnia is five or six hours. It's lucky, six if I'm lucky one night. The next night, zero sleep. Absolutely zero sleep. Um, the next night, five or six hours. And I've been doing that, sleeping every other day. God, that's fucking crazy. Every other day for 10 days, almost two weeks now. So last night was my sleep night. The night before was my no sleep night. Now on the no sleep, sleep nights, I can get all the way through it and it will get to like seven o'clock in the morning and I'm feeling a little stressed. I'm obviously tired, but I'm also stressed. Like, you know, there's no, my rhythm's out and I think psychologically it's stressing me. I will sometimes go to bed at seven in the morning just as my wife is waking up and nap for 20 minutes. And then there's been other times where I go to bed and I sleep for an hour and then force myself to get up because if I were to sleep for four or five hours from seven in the morning, I would be in another weird cycle. As awful as this cycle is, if, if this is what I was now, if I was like, okay, this is how I sleep now, I could adapt to it. But I don't know. And it's all to do with the erections. Again, just to drive that home. I think they're the most stressful thing I've had in this whole thing. The pain was difficult. The sensitivity is still difficult. The look of it was difficult psychologically. The fact that anyone was down there doing business, um, being so aggressive with it is difficult. But the erections are just, you can't do anything about it. No sex for at least a month, probably more. Um, includes masturbation, right? So there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Just, just get an erection, you just have to sit there. And they're so strong. They're so strong. Never felt anything like it. Um, and that has a lot to do with the insomnia. So I'm really hoping that when this is all said and done, I'm fully healed out. I can get my end away, <laughs> right? And then um, that will just all go. I'm hoping it's just that I'm randy, horny. <laughs> like, that's all it is. Sorry if that's grossing you out. Um, all right, so there's the update, man. I don't know. Again, the, the actual business down there is looking a lot better and, and feeling a lot better. And it's still sensitive, but it's, it's getting better. Just the sleep. The sleep because of the erections. There we go. How the hell do I title this one? My dick's so hard I can't sleep. I don't know. All right, you little nuggets. I hope that helps. Uh, that's it. I will see you on the next update, whenever that is. I'm gonna go do some writing.